Peace. Infinite waters diving deep once again. We are out here. We're in nature. Breathing in that good ass prana, baby. How to kick out your depression. We ain't even had breakfast yet. Can I get a hello there? We got a question that came in from a lady who said that she is battling depression. She is fighting depression and she's getting a good ass whooping. It's kicking her butt, she put. And even if she is laying on the grass and it's really sunny, she still can't kick that feeling of feeling depressed. What should she do about it? You got a question? Go to the website, ralphsmart.com or Instagram us at Infinite Waters. Those are the only places I check and I get thousands of questions every single day. Don't bother emailing me because I get thousands, right? So let me share with you what's helped me along my journey. But first of all, put your hand up if you've ever been depressed. I get depressed all the time. Don't worry about it. Ask the cat down the road. Yeah, if you didn't put your hand up, you're lying. Here's why. If you say depressed, if it's spoken phonetically, it means deep rest. Therefore, every single human being on the planet has been depressed at some point in their life and probably gets depressed a few times every single day. And guess what? That is nothing to be ashamed of. Now, I'm not just someone who's talking. I'm actually a psychologist. Oh my gosh, yeah. I went to university at 17. So you're talking to a counselor who's had over a thousand consultations. I work with people, the subconscious mind, but more than that, you're talking to someone who's had real life experiences personally. And there are tiny secrets you got to be aware of when you talk of how you're fighting depression. You see, I've spoken to millionaires, right? Given consultations to them. People who have millions, live in mansions. They contact me. These are the kinds of people that contact me. And they tell me their problems. Some of them, they've got everything, but something is missing. Now, as a psychologist, you come to realize a certain trend that depression doesn't care how much money you have. Depression doesn't care how big your house is. And depression certainly doesn't care what car you're driving because it can hit you at any time and it can happen to anybody. Now, a lot of people say, Ralph, you've been sharing, you've been making videos for so long. How can you maintain this peace you have to inspire millions and millions and millions of people? I say it's because I allow myself to get depressed. Deep rest. Now, let's dive into the science of it. You see, studies have shown that scientifically, we'll come to the psychology later, a smaller hippocampus, if you have a smaller hippocampus, you are more prone to depression. So we're actually talking about the biology of the human body. Right? Now, what causes a smaller hippocampus which deals with our memory and our emotions? We're talking about stress. Stress is the biggest cause of a smaller hippocampus. 
And they found that people who were more depressed had smaller, a smaller hippocampus. Now, I work with people all the time, every single day. And people who come to me who are depressed, it's always got something to do with stress. So if you want to kick depression out of your life, you got to ask yourself, what am I doing to make my life more stress-free? What's helped me along my journey? Woo! Is breathing in that good-ass prana, baby. Not overwhelming myself so much, right? A lot of us, we're doing a thousand and one things at a time. A lot of us, we've bitten way too much than we can chew. A lot of us, we like to say, I'm busy. I've got a lot of stuff to do. Not me. I finish work at 10 o'clock. By 11 o'clock, I'm on the beach with a bunch of grapes in my mouth. True story. Less stress means less deep rest. And once again, there is nothing to be ashamed of when we talk about depression. A lot of people are ashamed to talk about it. That's why it's still there. Look at it this way. In developing a holistic approach to overcome depression, let's talk about food and mood and how a lot of us don't really care what we put on our plate. That was me along my early journey. I wasn't a saint. I still am not a saint. Never hoped to be either. We eat junk, you feel like junk. You eat crap, you feel like crap. A lot of people drinking soda, drinking soda every single day, eating hot dogs, that's fantastic. If that's what you want to do, go for it. But there are consequences in terms of what you eat is what you become. So just a simple way is to start becoming more conscious of what you are consuming, what you are putting in your mouth, realize a plant-based diet is going to make you feel better when you feel better you're going to start taking more care of yourself overall now seven day vegan challenge i've been a vegan for over 11 years i get literally hundreds of people writing to me just on the seven day vegan challenge saying that because of you i started to eat healthier but more so i was feeling really depressed before i started to eat healthier and now i'm feeling a lot more better so is that simple we was at the veg fest we've done events and believe it or not we always bring up food and how it affects everything you are going through right now let's move on you see a lot of us find ourselves extremely depressed because of the people we invite into our personal space i don't want to complain about anybody but a lot of the times we're with people who don't even give us anything but actually make us feel a certain way no Nobody can make you feel a certain way if you don't invite them in. So you've got to start taking 100% responsibility for who you are surrounding yourself with every single day. You see, I only, I only surround myself with movers and shakers, people who are going to lift me higher. Along my early journey, I had my mentor, Mikhail Ivanov, he helped me feel better about myself. So I surrounded myself with a right mentor. A lot of people say I'm a mentor to them. That's great. If you've got the right inspirational people around you, your depression is going to disappear. You're going to have more energy, better self-esteem, more confidence. If you're surrounding yourself with people who don't have your best interests at hand, chances are you're going to be depressed for a mighty mighty long time now let's talk about the artist trap i'll do a whole video on the artist trap but in essence you see a lot of people are extremely depressed because they are trying to be perfect so i wrote down 
you aren't here to be perfect, you're only here to be authentic. Right? I change people's lives every single day, millions. But I'm not perfect. I'm just authentic and I'm bloody real. That's why a lot of people still say, gosh, Ralph, you're still making videos when I was pregnant. Can't believe it. Wait a minute, my son is seven years old, right? People's children have been growing up with infinite waters. I'm a household name. So when you are creating at a level where you are impacting and changing people's lives, you learn a few things. When you are a psychologist, you learn a few things about human behavior and how it ties into depression. The biggest cause of a lot of depression, one of the biggest causes is striving for other people's validation, which leads into feelings of inferiority, not feeling good enough, trying to get noticed. I don't try to get noticed. That's why I do videos about indigos and the third eye and they go viral, right? Because they know I'm talking that deep diving stuff, right? And you got to look at it like this. The artist trap is why a lot of so-called artists suffer from depression because you put out a masterpiece and what happens? You're waiting for the audience to say, what a great job. Not me. I'm already on to the next one. That's why we got over a thousand videos on this channel. And I don't even look at the views of the videos. I don't even look at the likes or the dislikes. We're too busy moving, creating. I'm too busy giving consultations. I haven't got time to look at statistics. So if you look at it like this, your job isn't to be perfect to anybody to say, okay, I'm a perfect role model. My life is not the blueprint of how to live. It's only a perspective. That is why I say this is what's helped me along my journey. That's why it's very easy to talk about whatever I want. Because once again, it's authentic. The aim is not to be perfect. And lastly, to kick out depression, to say, hey, depression, you better disappear. You got to learn how to not take yourself so seriously. Believe it or not, a lot of us do. Even me sometimes. And I got to say, Ralph, just, just chill. J just chill. It starts with have you ever been working somewhere and you're not happy? That means you're taking yourself way too seriously. Because people who don't take themselves seriously would just say, well, it's not making me happy, so I'm going to do whatever I want because it's really the most important thing. You've got to have the courage, the motivation, and the inspiration to do what you know you came here to do. And once you do that, Depression takes the back seat and what you start loving about yourself is that you now have the courage to actually honor your true heart's intention. A lot of people are depressed because they're in the wrong job, the wrong relationship. You can change all of that. You got to actually learn how to invite more what I call moments of joy into your life. The same routine we get tied up in. But it's a choice. And what you've got to do is look at the words you are telling yourself every single day. If you say depression is kicking my butt, which you just said, once again, you're already one nail down. You've got to say like this. Depression spoken phonetically means deep rest, which means I was just taking a break. There is nothing to be ashamed about when we talk of depression. In essence, I'm actually recharging, I'm rebooting, and I'm getting re-energized. And oh boy, when I come back, you're going to see what I'm going to do because I'm going to be doing what I love. 
I'm going to be around people who love me. I'm going to be having the time of my life. And I'm going to say to myself this. It is okay. It is okay to have ups and downs. Let me repeat that. It is okay to have ups and downs. And from that moment on, you now allow yourself to walk off into the sunset. No sunset today? Don't worry about it. So there you have it. We're out here. Infinite waters. Diving deep once again. Stay well. Stay healthy. <laughs>